In the heart of Germany, set against the backdrop of Ramstein Air Base, an annual gathering that binds the bond between Americans and Germans takes place, the Flugtag Air Show. It's been a tradition since the 1950s and an avenue for people with a passion for the outdoors and aviation come together and marvel at the majesty of military aircraft. Imagine a sunny day with over 300,000 attendees. Their eyes are locked onto aircraft like the imposing American B-1 bomber and the swift F-16 fighter jet. The hum of engines fill the air and the atmosphere is charged with excitement. The highlight of the day is the aerobratic performance by Italy's famed flying squad, the Frege Tracori. Donning their unique flight suits, they ready themselves for a grand spectacle, the pierced heart formation. This requires breathtaking synchronicity. Ten aircraft ascend, they split, they form a heart in a move that showcases immense skill and precision. One lone aircraft pierces through the heart, echoing the vibrant hues of the Italian flag. A seasoned pilot, Ivo Nudarelli, has carried out this maneuver over 70 times. Yet on this particular day, something went awfully awry. The unusual smooth descent of his aircraft turned into a rapid dive. Amidst the awe and wonder of the nature and machinery, no one could have foreseen the tragic twist that awaited the spectators below. Nudarelli found himself in a rapidly descending plane. Recognizing the imminent danger, he deployed his plane's air brake, trying to slow his descent. Below, the planes on either side of the heart-shaped formation seemed seconds from a catastrophic collision, moving at speeds of over 350 miles an hour. Miraculously, their expertly rehearsed routine allowed them to navigate past one another, barely 130 feet above the ground. It was an aerobatic marvel. However, despite Nudarelli's desperate attempts, his plane's trajectory remained dangerously off. In moments, he collided with two other aircraft, flown by pilots Giorgio Alessio and Mario Nardini. The force was devastating. Both planes crashed on the northern runway, taking the lives of all the pilots. Nudarelli's now flaming aircraft hurled towards the packed crowd, crashing and igniting nearly 300 gallons of jet fuel. Spectators, once enjoying what was considered the best views, were suddenly engulfed in a fiery nightmare. This horrifying sequence, from the initial collision, to the devastating impact on the crowd spanned a mere seven seconds. Running away from the fire because the cars got caught on fire, the trucks caught on fire. The emergency response, unfortunately, was marked by significant blunders. Access issues, protocol confusion between the US and German medical teams, and even basic communication challenges plagued the rescue effort. German paramedics found themselves in a tug-of-war with U.S. personnel over how to handle injured individuals. The confusion was palpable, with no clear leadership on the ground to coordinate the chaos. Hours later, at Linstall Military Hospital, the gravity of the situation became even clearer. German doctors described a scene where severely injured patients lay untreated. Basic medical equipment mismatched between the U.S. and German systems delayed crucial treatments. The aftermath of this tragedy was immense. 67 spectators and three pilots lost their lives, with over 500 others requiring hospitalization. The global aviation community grappled with questions, primarily focusing on Nudarelli's decision-making that day. Was it stress or a distraction from a previous rehearsal? The haunting chaos of that day at Ramstein Air Base serves as a reminder of the delicate balance between the thrill of aviation and the fragility of life. In the aftermath of the tragic events at the Flugtag in 1988, serious concerns arose regarding safety protocols, regulations, and overall supervision of such a large-scale aviation event. Post the tragedy, Germany put a three-year ban on public air shows, returning with enhanced safety standards. New regulations, including prohibited aerial stunts directed towards audiences and mandating a minimum distance of 1,000 feet between aircraft and spectators. These precautions have now been universally adopted, setting a global safety standard for air shows. People that were naked 
people that were tearing their clothes off because they were on fire. As for the Fregi Tercoliari, they've evaluated their repertoire, eliminating particularly risky soloist routines. They continue to execute a variation of the iconic pierced heart stunt, but without the former piercing maneuver by Pony 10. Moreover, they maintain a safer distance of at least 1,500 feet from the audience during their performances. If you've enjoyed this content by A Universe of Mystery, please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new and upcoming content.